So Ev, congratulations, amazing fight, amazing performance. Tell us how you're feeling. Oh man, I'm over the moon at the moment. Um, I mean, I was, I mean, yeah, I mean, I would, I would have loved to finish them in the first round, um, but uh, yeah, I had to face some adversity, but it's nothing new. Talk us through that first round. I mean, at, at times it was a war. You got thing knocked down a couple of times. You just kept coming forward relentlessly. Right. I mean, everybody knows me as the all-in guy, and um, yeah, I mean, you got to put me out to to stop me. So yeah, I mean, I just went all in, and and um, I'm glad I I got I kept moving and I kept out working him. And uh, I was just trying to make it exciting. I, I was I was falling over on purpose. So did he get close to finishing the fight in the first round when you didn't look particularly hurt, but obviously there was a bit of danger? Yes, yeah, so um, I dropped, but um, but I wasn't out. I mean, there was definitely a, a glow and I, my legs buckled a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was definitely not out and I knew what I had to do to, to keep moving and, and, and get back in the fight. I said a moment ago, it was almost like your best form of defence is attack. And certainly when you were under the most pressure was when you got aggressive and that's what got you out of trouble. Right. Um, yeah. I mean, scrambles and and I mean, those are the moments um, that people can't train for. I mean, in those split seconds of, of decision making, um, that's straight instinct and and it, and it shows true character. I mean, you can draw all you like. Um, you could you could study all you like, but you can. Um, it, it shows real character. You're either you're you're either fighting to survive or you're just you're, you're just another meat. From a fan's point of view, it's another an amazing fight. Did you enjoy it looking back now as much as say you would have done in your younger days when you're a bit more aggressive and like you said you used to get angry before you'd go in the cage? Right. So um, yeah, I mean, I definitely, I mean, my, the first round I definitely went hunting a little bit. Um, I could have stuck my to my game plan a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I I could I could outwork him eventually. And um, I mean, in my training camp, it goes all credit to my team in Auckland MMA and uh, also my conditioning coach Saeed and David. I mean, they. Man, they just they just built this new conditioning, my this new standard of, of breathing in me that that I knew that Daichi couldn't keep up with. So longer it went, I knew it was gonna turn in my favor. Took us through the finish. Yeah, so it was um, I was landing some strikes in his guard. Um, I realized he was getting a little bit weaker and he wasn't working as much options. So that's when I started uh, opening up positions to to create a scramble. Um, but yeah, I was glad I, he opened up the neck and I yeah, got the finish. Man, it was such a relief. But man, the Malaysian crowd, man, they definitely lifted me up with the, with the cheers and the energy. That's 10 and 10 now in Malaysia. Pretty incredible. Good night for Malaysia. I was saying earlier, it's an exciting time in the, in the lightweight division. A little bit crazy, a little bit up in the air. What next for you? Yeah, so as you said, that's my 10 and 0 performance in my birth down Kuala Lumpur. I mean, I would just like to acknowledge how diverse um, the crowd is. I mean, I mean, even just Kuala Lumpur in general. I mean, we've got three of the main religions, cultures in the world, but everybody is getting along harmoniously, cheering together, and and just living for a higher purpose than than, than the religion itself. I mean, oh man, I'm so blessed to have this platform to 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 share what I love. You said that in the ring, you said that nice message out. Tell us a bit more about having this fight as a platform to sort of spread a message of peace. Absolutely. I mean, so hashtag higher purpose. I mean, I hope I can start this. Um, so it, it could be anything. I mean, it could be charity work or it could just be you deciding to be a good person, making good choices every day and giving back to the planet than, than take. I mean, if you give more than take, if everybody did that in this world, man, this world will be a beautiful place. Sure, Ed. There's a big fight coming up in the lightweight division. Eddie Alvarez versus Edward Fully Young. How do you see that fight going? Um, I definitely got my eyes on that on that on that belt. Um, but yeah, but but everyone's got their eyes on the prize, which is the belt. Um, it, Christian Lee got that at, at the moment. Um, so yeah, I mean, I have one fight on my contract, so I'm looking to to avenge all my losses and to compete with the best. So so those are the guys that I'll be eyeing out. Obviously, the lightweight Grand Prix still going ahead. Who do you see winning that? Uh, I'll be going for my last opponent, Dougie. I mean, he's he's that young lion and he's proving it. He's beating some of the best guys and he's got some dynamite in those hands. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going for him. But uh, I would like to meet him in the future and uh, avenge that loss. We'd love to see that. Congratulations tonight. Brilliant performance. Well done. Thank you.
Cheers.